Hey guys, this is Smiral, and today I'm just going to do a little baby tutorial to add on to masking techniques. Um, if you look at the mask that I have right here, you see that I used very little points, and it didn't take too long. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, when I see tutorials, generally, I see a bunch of this, where people will just outline with points, and while that works, uh, it can be... It could be a lot smoother, it could be a lot less time consuming. So here's how you go about that, especially when you're using curves. Um, if you click here, and if you click on it the second point and hold on to it, you don't necessarily have to hold on it, you can click back on it. And if you just pull, you get a nice curve. This little vector will control the curve, and this one will be the pull, but if you move this one back down and just click, that will make the curve for you. And you can just go throughout the rest of the hair like that. It doesn't take too many points. Um, it doesn't take too much time. It's a lot smoother. It gets the curves in without having like the weird jagged parts that you would from having the straight points. And occasionally, if you click back on the point, it'll lose its curve. But all you have to do is just pull again, and you have it back to normal. Here, you can just do the straight and. And there, we have a mask done already. If you just put inward and feather it in point one, um, it makes everything smoother. There you go, you already have a mask. It only took about 30 seconds, um, and that's about it.